Hello, I'm Mix Mosa Merman, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, my mate Craig has just dropped off a uh, MS390 chainsaw. He said the sprocket is worn, and also um, he's there's some little tiny bits of metal um, that came out of the uh, under the guard here, and he showed me one, and, uh, and they're the roller bearings. It's as simple as that. So the roller bearings have come out. So. That looks like the roller bearings has collapsed. I've got to put a new clutch drum in there, sprocket, and new roller bearings. I have to remove the clutch as well, just to clean behind it, make sure there's no roller bearings in there as well. And then um, my mate Craig can go off and do, do his cutting his timber. He used this, this saw privately, it's his own saw, which he has at home, and he said, could I look at it for me, Mick? I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. He said, you know what you're up to, give it a go. So there you go. If this is your first time you're watching Mixed Murder Murder Man, hit the subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be telling some I'm uploading another video. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty. Let's try and get this um, still MS390 apart, remove the sprocket clutch drum, uh, needle bearings, what have you, and uh, put it all back together. How's that sound? Okay, so MS390 up on the old bench. Lovely little saw this is, lovely little saw. We like these quite a lot. Um, need to just remove the, um, the chain guard and what have you. I'm just trying to find me a, a tool. That's the one or not? I think that's the one. Yeah. So we're gonna loosen that off. We come, we come with the bar already attached. Two nuts to undo there. Simple enough. Gonna remove that. And then um, we're gonna remove uh, j just the outer cover here. Cause I wanna get, I wanna get in and um, to the spark plug because the, I wanna put a bit of rope inside the spark plug here to stop the piston when I go to remove the um, clutch out of it. So let me just get a pair of blunt needle noses just to help remove that HT lead up. It's a bit stuck, there you go. And I can get in there then and just remove said spark plug. And I can get on it, there it goes. Just loosey goosey that off. Now you can buy piston stops and what have you. I just use a bit of, bit of pull cord. There you go. So that plug's actually actually brand new. That's good, or pretty much brand new. So that's good. So the next thing we want to do is bring a saw round, and I will show you how to remove the uh, the clutch drum itself. We've got the sprocket already built onto it. Right. So we're back now to remove um, the clutch drum. We've got a washer on here and a little tiny C clip. The C clip's can be a bit of a pickle at times. You want to get a, a decent sharp screwdriver, in my opinion, and just start just to tease that out. Now go careful. Don't ping ping you in the eye. There you go, that comes out. And then that washer, that comes out like so. And you'll notice it's beveled one side and not the other. So it goes on that way, not that way. Put that down, put the C clip on top. Now, hopefully, yeah, that, that, that come out lovely. This comes straight out. And you can see the wear, the wear on there. Now, sometimes these don't come out, okay? Sometimes they're absolute pigs. You, know, you might give them a bit of a tap or whatever. That, that's, I think that's been like up for a little while. So, and also, look, there's no, there's no bearing behind there either. There's no bearing behind there. Nothing. That's all been burnt out. The whole lot. Oh word. Okay. So no needle bearings behind there. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Um, so next thing I want to do, I want to remove the um, the clutch itself. Okay. Now that clutch, that's a left hand thread on there. So you're gonna to need to tighten it to loosen it and loosen it to tighten it. Does that make sense? So I've got some pull cord here. You're gonna try and get the thickest pull cord you've got. I've got a 4.5 pull cord. So I'm just gonna just gonna literally just gonna cut a lump of that off, not too much. Just cut a lump off, and then we're gonna put that in the spark plug hole with the piston down. And then when we go to Undo the clutch. There's no way the engine can turn over because the um, the piston rope or the rope will be stopping the piston. Okay, so now what you want to do is um, with a little tiny screwdriver, we're just going to put that in the hole very gently, and we're just going to pull the cord very gently indeed. Now what you're looking for, you're looking for a screwdriver to go up and down. Where's the hole? It is. Just go up and down, and you want to try and catch that piston just on its way back up. So that's down as far as it go on its way back up now. So we're just going to stop there. The reason you don't, you don't want to have it on the way down is you don't want to catch any of this rope in the exhaust ports. So all I'm going to do then is just going to put some rope inside this hole. And by doing that, by cramming it in there, um, once a piston comes up to a certain, a certain point, it won't, um, 
allow that clutch to spin anymore. So I'm just gonna put that in the hole. They can use it as a piston stop, but I ain't got one. So put all that pull core as much as you can get in there, put it in the hole. It will take quite a bit because it's got to compress it all up, you see. It's all going in there. And once you've got quite a bit in there, you'll start to find it's quite hard to, to get any more in. So that's telling us it's, it's full up and you're nearly there. Yeah, we're nearly there, I think. And the idea is just to stop that piston from coming up and by using pull cord, yeah, we're there. You'll find it hard to damage anything. So now pull the cord and now that's as far, oh, brakes on, that's as far as that will go. So now with the piston stopped, uh, we can now undo this, uh, this clutch. Right, with the piston now, um, now stopped off, I've now got my socket, which I'm gonna put over top and rotate this uh, with an impact clockwise. There you go, one quick little impact. You don't wanna go mad with it. And now that clutch will now just rotate off by turning it clockwise. Now behind there should be a little washer, yeah. Little tiny washer. And that's a bevel that way. So I'm gonna put that down that way so I can pick it up and put it on. And then there'll be a little tiny worm gear just here. There's a worm gear just here. A little worm gear. And when you put your clutch on, your new clutch, that little tiny groove just here, that's got to sit right on the end of that there. So if you can't, can't put it on, it's because it's got to go, that little tiny groove has got to sit perpendicular to that little tiny notch just there. Now the reason I'm just taking this apart, I'm gonna clean all this out. Get it nice and clean, because just make sure there's no, no other needles. There's one there. That's part of the needle bearing. Yeah, come here, Mr. Needle Bearing. I need to get my magnet in here. There's one. Um, so quick little clean out, get rid of all the, all, the, all the scum in here. And then uh, we can start to re replace all the other bits and pieces. Right, so that sprocket's no good at all. That's, that's completely had it. We can now put our little washer back on, we can now get our clutch and start to do that up. And then we'll impact that on. Let's wait for the piston to catch. And we're gonna be loosening this up, which will be tightening it up, yeah? That's all you need. And we'll spin that back the other way and then I'm gonna try and retrieve all my pull cord. Just inspect the pull cord when it comes out to make sure it hasn't cut cut it off at all, okay? That side didn't go in, this side did, and it's all present and correct, so that's good. Um, once the clutch is on, I've then got a needle bearing to put on here. As we get a little bit of a heat resistant steel grease. I've got some just here somewhere. I had it just here earlier, there it is. It's a little bit of um, high temperature grease. You don't need a lot. People say pack it right out, but to be fair, it's only a really, really small bearing. So you ain't got to put a lot on there. And that's probably enough as it is. But I'm just going to pack that out. Make sure there's plenty of grease on there. You haven't got to absolutely smother it. To just pack it through so that all the bearings take a good a good hit of grease, put that down there, wipe my hands, I absolutely, anyone that knows me knows I hate working with grease, can't stand it. So that's that, so that's the grease done. I can now put my um, little tiny bearing on there, which is what it needs, it's gotta have the bearing. And then we've got the clutch drum itself. Remember what I said about this worm gear? You've got to locate the worm gear now. It's just here, okay? So all you've got to do is you've got, got a little tiny notch. Now just, just put it into place. And then all I do is I go off center and then literally I just try and find it. And, and you'll know when you've got it. I think that's got it there. I'm just gonna turn it around, take it back off again, see if it's moved. Uh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Yeah, yeah, I did have it, yeah, got it first time. There's a little tiny mark just on here as well, so you can see actually where it goes. So line it up. Gonna be, oh, there goes me a, it goes me a nice clean um, bearing. 
no foreign objects please so line it up into place and then it will just go on like that that's it that's on that's got it and then your little tiny washer that's got to go on and last but not least would be your little tiny c-clip or circlip whatever you want to call it Lucy put it on there i've got a nice short pair of short nose pliers which i like to use just get hold of it from the back and then squeeze it into place that's all on that's lovely and then we can put our guard back on two nuts put the um ht lead and spark plug back in dropping bits and pieces now and then that's that done so he's got the bar for this i believe and all the chain all that sort of stuff so i'm happy to with that that's just coming just for a, a quick clutch drum and bearing replacement so i'm happy with that so let's do those up so we don't lose them and then just got to do uh, as i say put the uh, air filter back on spark plug back in all that good stuff but apart from that that's pretty much how you do it Okay, so there you go, one um, MS390 now done. Now the clutch run was slightly different to what I ordered for some reason. Um, however, um, he can just buy a new chain. No drama there, he can get, just buy a chain that fits that and uh, he'll be good to go. But it's got a new clutch drum in there with a sprocket built in and a set of needle bearings. It doesn't take long to do. Just make sure the most crucial part on that is to make sure your worm gear lines up with your clutch drum, no problem there. And don't forget just to make sure when you um, put the piston stop rope in, pull cord rope, make sure you do it when the, when the piston is coming back up. That way the rope doesn't go down through the exhaust port. That's quite important. But path map, quick and easy. If I can do it, you can do it. If this is your first time you're watching Mr. Mose and Mo Man, hit your subscribe button or whack the old bell. Set notifications to all. That way you'll be told next time I upload another video. I look forward to seeing the episode of Mr. Mose very, very soon. But until guys and girls, much more importantly, take it easy.